Some of Nawasa's customers have aired concerns recently about the appearance of a charge for service on their bills. These customers, some of whom experienced disconnection and required reconnection services, have raised questions about the nature of this charge. This has in turn prompted Nawasa to address the situation. In a press release, Nawasa informed that its board had directed management to implement its charge for service fee universally, effective June 1, 2024. For domestic customers, historically, a refundable $240 charge for service deposit was required for customers unable to provide proof of ownership of the property to which the account is listed. The charge was refundable as Nawasa was confident that unpaid rates and charges could be recovered through a lien on the customer's property in accordance with Section 35 of the Nawasa Act. However, with the amendments to the Nawasa Act in December 2023, arrears are no longer attached to property ownership, but rather to the customer. This change impacts Nawasa's ability to recover unpaid rates and charges, prompting the company to implement the charge for service universally. At the time of the debate on the amendment in November 2023, Member of Parliament for St. Mark, Dr. Clarice Modest, had raised the concern about how Nawasa would be protected when the amended legislation was passed. I would support any bill that allows persons access to water. Um, I just have an idea heard the leader of government business mention that they're collecting monies and so on and um, he's happy for that and I just wondered how do we protect Nawasa um, to be able to collect what um, the fees from so you no longer put the lien on the house or the lien perhaps on the business as well but what enforces the business or the house owner then to pay if they are at fault, do they just, even if they're renting a house, do they just rent it to somebody else under a different name and whatever monies were owing before becomes lost to now? St. Andrew Northwest MP Dalma Thomas said the amendment encourages water supply to every individual, but at the same time protects property owners. The bills would not be given to the homeowners because it's on my name. So the bill will say Delma Thomas, whereas the homeowner will be John Doe. So Delma Thomas will be responsible. So if I'm renting and I refuse to pay bills for three months and I'm removed from the property, the owner of the property who is Ron Redhead is not expected to pay that bill. Now I still have to hold me down to ensure that Delma Thomas pays her bill. An exemption to the universal charge for service is made for customers enrolled in government's Water Access and Sanitation in Homes, or WASH, program, who will pay a reduced charge for service of $100, assuring affordability for vulnerable populations. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tillisford.